That video was from 1985. You know, that was Motorhead. Uh, but that's Wendy Williams that joined them on stage. I went to that, not that show, but uh, that tour. Check out this lineup. Exciter, Merciful Fate, and Motorhead. And yeah, just like in that clip, Wendy Williams came out and sang uh, No Class with Lemmy. And it was it was pretty awesome. I mean, I was only 15 or 16. But um, yeah, today's news, of course, Wendy Williams died on this day in 1998. Wendy Williams, of course, saw the plasmatics, right? Master plan! Master plan! You know, the plasmatics and... Um, it's a solo record. This record is interesting because it's like a, it's really much a rock record. And it was produced by Gene Simmons of Kiss. Um, but there's a song, It's My Life, a song on here, man. That's catchier than heck. Um, anyway, a couple records. So check out the Plasmatics. Wendy O. She was very outspoken at her time. Um, at a time when there were a lot of women and especially like punk rock. And she was, uh, she was pretty badass, and uh, yeah, I know that she inspired the Butcher Babies, which band I personally love. Um, so she died on this day, 1998, of a self-inflicted gunshot wound uh, at age 48 at the time. It's sad. Another tortured artist taken from us. Anyway, uh, you know what? I was watching Empire Strikes Back the other night. Star Wars. Yeah, let's take a look. I'm going to talk about Star Wars in particular. Empire Strikes Back. Okay, now, here's that scene in the beginning of Empire Strikes Back. And the Tauntaun, like, freezes to death on Hoth. Which begs the question, why were they using Tauntaun? I mean, obviously, Tauntauns were not native to Hoth. Or else this would not be out of the ordinary, this kind of cold. It obviously is not affecting the human people as much. And then, uh, I mean, another thing, too, is like, oh, I love this. When he cuts open the tauntaun, the guts come out and all that stuff. But anyway, what what is the deal with Star Wars? And every planet is just like one kind of like ecosystem. Like Hoth is all like frozen and like Dagobah is all jungle and Tatooine's all desert. There's like no variety out there in this galaxy far, far away. Yeah, I don't get it either, Han. So see what I mean? Like, Tauntauns aren't, like, adapted for life on that planet. So they must have actually brought the Tauntauns to planet Hoth for the purpose of using them. But then uh, they didn't, like, bother to do any research whether or not the Tauntauns could actually survive the condition of the planet. It's almost as if George Lucas and those Star Wars people just make stuff up whether it really has any scientific credibility or not. But what do I know? I'm just a dumb metalhead punk trying to live his life during the quarantine, shelter in place. You know what? You know what will get that off my mind a little? Old time hockey. Let's go. All right, we're talking about Wendy Williams. Uh, no relation, but we might as well watch Dave Tiger Williams. Number three. Canucks, baby. Than this? Tiger One of the best Williams. goal One celebrations of, of all time. Else but oh, when he scored, did he know how to celebrate? Get on that stick, you wicked witch. Love that was Canucks. 1980 Canucks. Just to show he has a lot Remember, like, Canucks went to the Stanley Cup final. Early 80s sometime, right? Yeah, they went, they played the Islanders. 80, I want to say 81. But I could be wrong. But. <laughs>